Let me tell you a story about how the moose first came to Unamagi. It was in the age of Glooskap, the time of legends. The families were setting up winter camp inland as the people did in those times. The families had survived well in the summer on the coast, where seafoods and berries had sustained them. Just as they were setting up their wigwams for the first night, a winter storm hit. It was very sudden. It brought such a heavy snowfall that winter set in immediately in just one day. They hadn't had enough time to harvest meat, their winter food, to survive until spring. The families prayed to the Creator for help. They knew that their people would only survive the winter if the Creator sent them a gift. The next morning they woke up to see a beautiful animal standing amongst the trees. It was the first moose. The Creator had answered the people's prayers. They went to the moose and asked, Are you a gift from the Creator? The moose said, Yes, I am here to help you survive the harsh winter. But before you harvest me, you have to make a promise. You have to treat me with respect, use every part of me, and not waste anything. Never harvest more than you need of me. This is Nedagolim. If you live this way with me, I will never leave you. So that was the beginning of the ancient agreement between the moose and the people. It was like a promise between the humans and the moose. We had to respect the animal. If we ever failed to do this, the moose would leave us. For many centuries, this agreement was kept by the people of Migamagi. Sometime back in the 18th century, something changed. The moose were no longer treated with respect and began to disappear. For a long time, everybody blamed everybody else. But the result was the same for all of us. The moose left Unamagi. Two centuries later, the Cape Breton Highlands National Park was created. It was a beautiful place, but it lacked something. The moose needed to come home to Unamagi. So a great effort was made to bring the moose back. They were escorted from Alberta by the RCMP. That is how precious they are. 18 moose arrived. Those 18 moose were the start of a new herd we now see in the Cape Breton Highlands. There are over 5,000 of them now. It was a new beginning. Our harvesters, who have been separated from this gift from the Creator for so many years, are bringing back the ancient agreement. We remember the long years of not being able to depend on this great animal to sustain us. So as long as we respect the moose, harvest it with care, and avoid waste, the moose will not leave us again. The spirit moose is here today to remind us. That is the sacred agreement. Yeah.